welcome back to my channel, Jerry Creates. Hope you guys are doing well because I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. What? But today's video will be I am doing a story time on the time that I got it. So before we jump into this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, press the bell so you don't miss any videos, give this video a fat thumbs up, and comment down below. But let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so yeah y'all, I got scammed. And it was a good amount of money too. So. I can't definitely say I'm not upset about it anymore. It definitely was a lesson learned. And it's just really crazy. But I do have like a little bit of proof, you know, to show y'all. Got screenshots and all that good stuff. But um, so this happened literally the day after my birthday. So it's crazy. My birthday is July 23rd, and this happened July 24th of this year. So yeah, it kind of was a little shaky after like my birthday because my birthday went good you know and then I had a good birthday weekend and I don't know it was just all over the place so what happened was like randomly I can't remember what time it was because the thing is the girl that I was texting I don't I don't know her like Instagram account name no more like I can't find her account so that's like the only thing that I don't have receipts of is the person I was talking to on Instagram so yeah so randomly this girl texted me and it was kind of like late it was like mm, it was like maybe five or six something in the afternoon because i remember that day me and my mom was like on the way to get us some food we was getting some seafood and let me tell y'all that food was hit it's called seafood destiny seafood they only have it in where i live but i don't know they might have some somewhere else but i heard it was new so we had to try it out but anyways so she you know you just texted me and you know she was like trying to get to know me and you know she wanted to say hey you're pretty and you know do you want to be friends and at the time i didn't really have that much friends i only had one friend and i was like you know i wanted some more friends so i said why not like so we started to get to know each other each other she started chatting me up and da, 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 da. she was asking where i was from and if i was in school and stuff like that like normal questions that normal people would ask so of course i didn't think this is a setup she got something like no good because most scams people would just ask you okay i can flip this money for this how much this money and or if you send me this i'll send like that they get straight to the point but she didn't like she was talking to me for like an hour, hour and a half before she even started talking about the money. So I really thought she was a legit person that wanted to just, you know, talk to me and become friends. So she was like, this dude helped me out. His name is, I think his name was Ken. That's the name that she gave me. But I'm pretty sure there are people behind this. They was, that's not them. They are using fake names, fake identities. And I don't know, it just don't make no sense to me. So, she's talking about some, uh, you know, if you need any help, da, 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 I can help you. It's this man, I know his name is Ken or Ken, Ken Kennedy, something like that. Uh, I guess it was short for whatever his, his full name was. And she was like, he can see you however much money, but you know, you have to be loyal don't scam him and all this other stuff like what a scammer telling me not to scam nobody i have never heard of that before what sense does that make like it, it makes no sense to me so i was like you know yeah like you know i need some like some money like i have expenses that i would like to take care of maybe not fully responsibilities but i definitely do have things that i want to purchase like you know i like to shop and you know spoil myself so why not like extra money free money that's good that's a good deal so she gave me the little app and it's called hangouts app now this is where the receipts come in mm, they just slide in like that so it's called hangouts app if you guys know what it is you know what i'm talking about i don't use it so of course it wasn't downloaded on my phone so she showed me 
and I'm guessing she got like an iPhone or something I don't know because her hangouts app didn't look like mine and you know sometimes iPhones and Androids their apps look different so I was like is this it and she was like yeah so she gave me the email and everything because that's basically how that hangouts app work so I looked up the email let me go to the messages so you guys can see so this is the app right here hangouts with the little uh quotation marks yeah so his name is tim kenneth something like that if you can see the name it won't focus but it's up there and it said he was active four hours ago so it is dude is still active you know scamming people like these people are still active and they're doing crazy stuff um i don't know if i can find the email or not but I definitely can't find his um, email, but she did send it to me, and yeah, I can't find it. It's okay. So, while I read, I'm going to have the screenshots of the messages at the top. So it says, hey, I say, hey, I was wondering if you could help me. I was sent by my friend, Rachel, and that was the, her name. That's the name that I was given. Her name was Rachel. She said she was from New York, and I think she said she was like 20. 5 24 something like that he was like i don't know you who are you i said i'm a friend of rachel's he was like tell me about yourself because i don't know you and at first i thought this was like a sugar daddy sugar baby type of stuff and i was like i don't want no sugar daddy like i have a boyfriend like either way like i still wouldn't be doing no stuff like this because that's weird like i don't want to be dating no 50 year old man trying to get some money from him that sounds weird to me I mean, to who? To the people that do it, but me, no. I'm good on that. I was like, what you want to know? He was like, everything about yourself. S smile. Just want to get to know you. What's your name? I just turned 20 yesterday. My passion is fashion. My dream is to be an entrepreneur and show people my talents. I said, my name is Joya. He was like, can I see pictures of you? And I said, I don't feel comfortable sending photos to someone I don't even know. He said, I'm getting to know you. And I said, did I get to know about you? making sure this isn't skeptical he was like yes ken but he said yes ken by name i'm 51. he says i'm a businessman that loves helping people financially people with a good heart so i sent him like two pictures he was like wow i'm speechless you're really beautiful why hiding your beauty I said, I'm not hiding it. I'm just careful. And I have a boyfriend. He was like, OMG. All right. I'm not taking you from your boyfriend. Smile. And I said, laugh out loud. I know. He said, what do you need help with? I said, well, for some reason, it's hard for me to get a job. And especially with the virus going around. He said, how much will clear your debt? Feel free to ask. And I said, it's like I have no luck getting a job. And I have business, have a business, but I just need money to rebrand. I honestly don't want a lot. Maybe 1K or less. So my dear, feel free to ask. Before I ask how old, before I ask how old are you and do you help many people? And of course he had already told me, but I asked him again. I don't know why. He said, I'm 51. I help a lot of people because I once was poor. I was like, how did you become wealthy? He was like, I helped someone from my, I helped someone from my nothing. And he helped me. I'm a gold dealer, contractor, and work in a private organization. Organization. He said, okay, well, do you think you could give me $1,000? He said, will that be okay for you? I said, yes. He was like, all right, do you have hangouts? I said, yeah, that's what I'm tasting you on. He said, it's on your phone, right? I said, he said, I hope you're not here to steal from me. I can send the money to your cash app. What do you mean steal? If you don't want to give me the money, you don't have to. I have seen a lot, my dear. Now, when he said that, I started, okay my dear i've heard that before usually when people try to scam you they use that same word dear my dear or just period people that's like there's not their actual account that's the type of stuff they say i said if you mean scam i don't even know how to do that i thought you were going to do that i see what's your cash app so i say i'm a cash app so are you sure it's verified and do you receive money on it i said yes but i usually put it to my bank immediately he said all right my dear i sent the money already let me know when you see it 
you're there. I got it, but through email. He said, good, show me you received it. I tried to deposit to me, but it says it was already claimed. I'm confused. Usually I get my payment on Cash App. So as you can see, this is the payment. Ken Jones, $1,000 payment to me. It says fee, $100, late fee, $100. So that's when my dumb tail sent him $100. When, of course, I didn't even know I had $100. I didn't know I had $100 on my card at all. I did not know I had that much money. That's how, you know, I barely check my cat, my uh, bank because I don't really be, you know, worried about that. But yeah, I had over $100 and I didn't know. I was like, oh, so I am able to pay this. But then it said I had to pay another fee. So I was like, this, this don't make sense. He said, text the cash app service to find out. Do you receive a large amount of money? I said, what's the cash app service? They do send notifications and texts. He's, I said, it says I have to pay a fee to get it. He said, try to text them and ask. I think it's because you have never received large amount of money, cash before. I said, right, I have to pay a hundred. I don't have that. He said, you didn't tell me you have never received large amount of money before. I said, I didn't know that was an issue, but I only use cash app. He said, oh, I see. Text the, text the text cash app service and see. I said, if I would have known, I would have said something. It doesn't make sense for to pay for money anyway. He said, because the money is in your account already. I text the cash up and I have to wait to pay the fee because I don't have the money right now. So, all right, that's good because I don't want anything to happen to the money I sent. It won't. I'll see if someone can lend me the rest so I can pay it immediately. If I was to get another, sent another big amount, do I always have to pay a fee? He said, no. You don't have to pay any fee again. It's because this is your first time for receiving a large amount of money. You have to try and receive the money. I should be able to pay it soon. I'll let you know immediately when I can fix the problem. He said, all right, I'm waiting. I just want you to receive the money I sent. That's what I'm worried about. I said, once they send me a tag, I can pay the fee. I'm getting under control, I promise you. He said, all right. I said, wow, so I get paid them 100 and now they need another hundred dollars i literally wasted money for that i should have never did this so what's happening i think it's your cash out my dear if you want i can add money so you can receive everything together i paid them the fee now they're saying i need to pay a late fee which is another hundred do i have to pay for the hundred he said i don't know my dear i was thinking the money is little if so you have your money back i'm going to see if i can get a hundred dollars without paying the fee because i don't want you to keep sending money my dear, money is not a problem for me. I can add a thousand dollars. A hundred dollars is fine. I don't want you to send any money yet until I pay this fee. So I understand. So when you sent me the money, I had to pay a fee of a hundred because it's a large amount of money. But I was late paying it, so now I have to pay another two. One hundred for a late fee, and I don't have another hundred to pay it. So oh, I see. Have you paid it? I paid the first hundred, not the second. Try to pay for that. I want you to receive the money. That's why I was saying if I add you. If I add to the money, you can just pay the same fee and receive all the money. If I do, it'll have to be tomorrow because no one can see me that money right now. So, all right, my dear. Let me know how it goes. Okay. I can try tomorrow, but yeah, you'll have to be, it'll have to be tomorrow. My boyfriend was going to put money on my cart. So, all right, let me know. Okay. I want you to have the money sent. So, that was the end of that conversation, which was a lot of messages before I found out. It was most definitely a scam so the thing is i did call those two people i called the girl on instagram and i called him off the hangouts app now the girl on instagram never answered so i don't know if all of these was the same person it was coming from the same like phone and everything or if it was more than one person so i called him and i told my sister to talk to him because i actually texted her so i do have some screenshots of our messages because I was talking to her and she made me realize it was a scam before it but it was already too late because I had already sent the money so I'm going to show y'all the cash out before I get to the messages so this is the person that I was told to send the money to joy request to he corred 120 I sent them a hundred dollars July 25th at 12.22 a.m. Now, I'm going to try to see if I can find the email that was sent to me because 
It was supposed to be cash app support, but it definitely wasn't even them. Well, I definitely don't have the um, emails, but because I think I deleted them. But this is the, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's supposed to be the email that was sent to me. It says cash app service 10 s at gmail.com at gmail.com so i was told to that was a person that was basically texting me on e, that was emailing me and that was telling me you have to pay the late fee in order to get all your money and that's when they gave me a tag to send to that person on cash app and it was this person named joy so like i said it said i sent a hundred dollars and once I realized it was a scam, I did try to get my money back. As you can see, I kept trying to get my money back. Thought I could do a dispute and everything, but it wouldn't let me. And I don't know, he, she, whoever, uh, they kept declining. So as you can see, it says refund, decline. So now I'm going to go to the messages between me and my sister. I took screenshots of those. And I edited them out so you guys wouldn't see like the the numbers and stuff like that. Her number, her certain personal information. So I was like Friday, July 24th. This was at 10:25 p.m. This was before I even sent the money. So I was like, "You up for a deal?" She said, "What?" She said, "What deal?" Sorry if that was hostile. I'm drunk. Whatever. I said, someone pay me 1K on the cash app, but I have to pay 200 for the fee to get to my money. To get my money. I already paid 100. I just need, oh, so I've been had paid the money. I thought I sent it like a 12 something. I don't know why I said that. I already paid 100, I just need 100 more to get my money back. That way I can pay you back. She's like, I'm gonna talk to you. And I was like, so I did really like, it was just too many hints after I sent the money that it was just some crazy stuff going on. I was like, I'm getting a little iffy. And at first I was iffy, but instead of going with my intuition, I went along with it anyway. So I said, okay. She was like, honestly, I don't have $100 on cash yet, but I can tell you something. I said, tell me what? She said, the police told me anytime you have to pay for your money, you're nine times out of 10 getting scammed. Unless you're at an ATM, you don't bank with. It's why I don't have a bank account. Why? Don't you pay 200 out of the 1K? I can't enable that 1K unless I pay the other 100. This girl told me she paid her fee and they gave her the money. They say Cash App makes you pay for a fee for receiving large amounts of money on Cash App. She says, Joy, I can pay lots of money on Cash App every week and I don't pay nothing. She said, you're getting scammed. I said, what's the largest amount you paid? She said, well, way it got paid. She said 221440. 21, she said when I got scammed, I got paid 409 to get 2000 and I lost 490. Oh, 400. She said I didn't get any money. I said, where did the 2000 come from? She said the government. So I was like, huh? I said, see, well, see, the girl I'm talking to got this person to send me money on Cash App and he sent it, but I was late claiming it. She said she paid her feet and got her money. So that was the end of that. Then that's when she, she was outside with my uh, brother and she came in and started talking to me and explaining to me in person. And I was like, wow. So after that, that's when I realized I just got scammed. So I lost all my money. Like I said, I kept trying to get my money, request my money back, they wouldn't give it to me. So let's go back to the Hangouts app and open up those same messages. So, as you can see, I kept calling. It says, the first time it says no one joined call. And then I said, you really scammed me, wow, how nice. Thought you was a businessman, I hope you didn't get that 1K too. That was July 24th at 11.07 p.m. So I called him three more times and finally he answered after the last time well no it was uh, two it was two calls and then i facetime him i think that's exactly what it was so as you can see call 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 so it was the two first ones 
11.09 and then the second one was the third one was 11.10 I said can you just refund the money please he said I can't send little amount of money I said whatever dude get off my phone you're an idiot like that makes no sense how you can't send a little bit of money people can get any type of money on cash app because literally if I go to cash app I can I can literally type in ten thousand dollars so I definitely know you can send a hundred so I don't know why people lying so I called him again he missed the call I oh no he called me oh oh yeah so he called me he called me back and my sister was talking to him I didn't want to talk to him so she was talking to him and told her to send him and told him to send him money back now the first time he just hung up he didn't say nothing he didn't say bye he said okay hold on he just hung up in her face and then I said why do you keep calling me you can send any amount of money on cash up. I will be filing a police report. I said, I am con contacting the police now since you refused to give me my $100 back. And then, I guess at 12 5, he said, I will send the money back now. He didn't send the money back because I kept requesting my money. Literally, if you're going to cash up, it said 12 22. I requested my money. You didn't give me nothing back. So, what do you mean? So, yeah, like, I just don't understand, like, People are really weird out here. Like there's so many things to do to get money and instead y'all would like to scam people. And it's crazy because people get scammed every day. Like this is too common in the world we live in. People getting scammed all the time. And it seems like the police don't care. Like they can't do nothing about it. Like you can easily track somebody's phone. Like the police, they can do so much that they don't do. They don't do nothing. They don't do their job. So I don't even know why they even have, they even have a job. Why they even have a badge? Why they have so much authority over them? They don't even know how to do their job right. Or they don't care to do their job. Especially for black people. They don't care about black people. So. Yeah, I was mad. I was really mad. Like, I was so upset. I felt so stupid. Like, I was disappointed in myself. Like, why would I ever do something like that? And it's crazy because I actually did almost get scammed one time. Because it was, this was, I think this was last year. And... This dude, he kept getting straight to the point. They tell you to comment cash and they start doing this and that. They tell you the deal and they get straight to the point. But these people actually like got in my head and they scammed me. Like they, they really got me really good. So. I don't know. I just don't know how stuff like this happens. And people still are naive enough to get scammed. Like. I understand that first time, but after the first time, you shouldn't be letting people get into your head and you shouldn't be doing stuff like that. Like, yes, I was desperate for the money because this is what happens when you don't got no money. You get what you can, but and nobody else expected it to be a scam because I even talked to my boyfriend about it. He didn't think it was a scam. He was like, well, that's a lot of money. And, you know, he was happy for me and stuff like that. So, of course, I didn't have nobody to really tell me that it was a scam because... I wasn't talking to my sister first so they got me good but at least they didn't get that other amount though because they kept sending they kept telling me on the email saying late fee must be uh paid in order to get your uh your money but i never paid it i just told them to stop texting me but they still kept texting me it's crazy and then the girl on instagram i kept saying wow you really scammed me like what the heck is wrong with people and she just kept leaving me on a uh, scene. She never said nothing back. So that's why I feel like it had to be like more than one person or something because they all weren't doing the same exact thing. So I don't know. It was weird. But um, yeah, like I said, this is a lesson learned. Um, if you have got scammed, you definitely feel my pain. I hope this doesn't happen to anybody else in the future. I don't wish this on my worst enemy because it was somebody that you, you know, that's yours. Like, that's crazy. I understand why people can't just make their own money instead of scamming people because that's weird but like i said this is a lesson learned definitely won't let nobody get me the next time because tch, one time first and last time that will ever happen 
But um, yeah, you guys, this is the end of this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and watch the last video. If you missed it, I will leave the link down below. Comment, like, share this video, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.